จับเจ้า I've been doing some thinking and whatnot, and I've kind of concluded a few things. So yesterday, when I woke up, um, you'll see the previous film of my landlord barging in her way into my place, fucking whatnot. So after that confrontation, uh, I woke up to the morning to a 30-day eviction notice, or she said she wanted me out in 30 days. Now, the problem with that situation is, under the Alberta Landlord Tenant Act rules, all notices have to be written and either hand delivered or posted up on your door or posted somewhere as accessible. She has refused to do that, thus forcing me to block her from phoning, texting, and emailing me because. For some reason, she thinks she's above, or they, sorry, they think they're above um, the laws and everything. So that's what's transpired on lately. So more stress is added, and the more stress, and the more stress, and um, yeah. As I said, I was trying to be better and not be dragged down. But now I'm being forced to defend myself, my well-being, and my home and my animals because they think they're going to throw me out and make me homeless in 30 days. I find that insulting. After all I've done for them, I'm the one that did their lawn care. When I came here, it was knee-high grass full of weeds. I went out and dealt with the weeds and the grass, cut their grass, trimmed, did their lawn care, did their. Uh, she's a senior an older lady she likes gardening she mentioned in the back they have a garden she mentioned how she wants to compost it and make the dirt good so out of the goodness of my heart i went and did all the composting and mulching by hand and what do i get for it i get a 30-day illegal eviction order where they are now just shitting on me and denying my rights and denying the Alberta tenant, the Alberta landlord and tenant rules and laws and rights. So um, it's hard for me to not take offense to what they're doing. So I've been debating if I'm going to sue them out of house and home. I liked them. I showed them gratitude. I showed them respect. I went out of my way to show these, and just like fucking my fucking shitty ass families, they stabbed me in the back and shit on me. And now they're going around talking shit about me, which is getting highly annoying. But enough about me. My last post. People said something about mutual funds and helping me. Um, I've been also thinking about that because that is another bridge that I didn't want to cross. But I think I found out um, a solution. I need to get my creative going, and the one thing that's holding me back. I have four or five stories to fucking write. Now I have the main stories, the objectives, the plot lines. Everything's all lined up on all these stories. The one thing that's holding me back, well, okay, <laughs> there's a couple of things. Number one, my self confidence, and thinking that fucking my stories are good enough to be published or for anybody to give a shit about. First of all, that's why I was trying to work on the first one and get the first one done, which um, if you look at my YouTube was supposed to be about like, in a certain situation, but it kept dragging out. So when I first came up with the idea, it was going to be a, it was like me being Aaron Brockovich fighting against the justice system. It was supposed to show how corrupt the justice system was. 
back when I started this channel. As you will know, if you've been with me since the start of the channel, but you can go back and review, the Edmonton police took a complaint from some fucking racist, low-educated, dumb, dumb as shit meth heads and meth addicts. Uh, the one girl had three kids, three different men, and lost them all to child services because she's a fucking meth addict and a fucking little meth cunt. Her boyfriend is a snitch, a fucking meth rat running around, giving out fucking buying meth and snitching out on fucking people while he does it. The whole family itself is just kife. So... They ended up taking their complaints and saying that fucking, you know, if you know the story, you know it. So I'm going to give you a quick rundown. They said I fucking cattle prodded and fucking bear sprayed my fucking dog. And they said I did it right out in public. So they came in, as you remember, they take the cops. They fucking pointed guns at me. They raided my house. They did all this bullshit for nothing. Then they were forced to drop the charges. And then, as you've seen, they were forced to return the animals with those two fucking dick cops. Trying to fucking be heavies and trying to be fucking whatever. And then you can also see for yourselves, up until the last fucking instance, how the cops kept harassing me, kept threatening, kept fucking up on my ass and fucking at my door for every fucking little fucking thing. And then this other instance came, like, where the neighbors to those original people, the, the, the meth family, the neighbors to them, their fucking, the, neo, the retarded neo-Nazi family, decided to come after me. You see that on video and everything. So that's what I've been writing about. It's gotten bigger. The story's gotten bigger. Ba ba ba. But with all that's going on and people saying they want to help me, or at least two people said they want to help me. So my idea, because I don't want to take people's money from them without giving back. You know, I'm the, I'm the type of person that if you're going to give me money, I have to, it has to be fair trade, I guess you would say. So this is mutual aid, but it's mutual trade. So here's what I'm saying. I need names and characters for books. So if you help me out, I'm going to immortalize you in a story, hopefully a book and maybe a movie if it fucking if my if my stories are that good. I need yes, I do need help and many of things. But my main thing is if I can get these stories out, maybe I can help myself and others by getting the stories out kind of thing, you know? An investment. You're making an investment upon me and maybe what I'm good at, maybe what I'm not good at. And if you think I am that good or have that kind of trust in me, I'm going to immortalize you in a book, in a story. Now, I already got three names from people prior that helped me out previous. I have one character named Cindy, another character named Hector, and, um, oh, sorry. I have another character named M. I don't know if I have her permission to use her whole name or whatnot, so I'm hoping that she'll get back and she'll, she'll give me a, she'll give me the okay. So, here's what's going to happen. You're going to email me at antisocial780 at gmail.com. You're going to give me your, you're going to give me the name, first name only. I only want first names. I'll figure out a last name or whatever. First name, you're going to give me your first name, and then you're going to give me what you want that person to, to look like. And what kind of, you know, a quick personality rundown kind of thing. Do you want the person to be caring and thoughtful? Do you want the person to be just like you in real life? Strong, independent, you know, confident. 
I'm sure most of the people are going to be like that. So put a quick quirk that you want that you want down that you want that you yourself want your character to have kind of thing and then you also have to tell me if you want him to be a good guy a bad guy or a character now a character could be somebody that floats around whatnot it's always in the background in or around there's a couple of different stories where they might come in or they might not come in. Um, I'm hoping that if everything goes right, because I'm going to the food bank on Thursday, so I'm hoping that once I eat on Thursday and get some fucking grub into me, that um, oh, creative, I'm at my the end of my rope the only reason I haven't been writing writing now is because the low competence, all the pressures dealing with, and one of the stories is actually real life. So I've been waiting for that real life to actually click in so we can move ahead. So now I'm thinking maybe I'll take the two fictional stories that I was gonna do drop after the, the original and do the two fictional stories first and then do the original one when it works out. I'm still working on it, but I think this weekend I'm going to start laying down, going from trying to figure out characters' names and places and just putting them together and getting a rough copy of the stories dropped this weekend. Thursday, I'm going to the food bank. You will be with me because... A lot of people never been to a food bank or don't know how to the etiquette of the food bank. So Thursday, there'll be a, a, a screening of food bank. What to do, what not to do, you know, kind of thing. Um, other than that, maybe give me some feedback on what you guys think of going on. I'm trying to show real life situations here, hence the food bank fucking filming and whatnot and all this other filming. I am dealing currently now with the Landlord Tenant Act bullshit. I'm dealing with the cops bullshit, a prosecutor's bullshit. I'm trying to find a new home, trying to write books, trying to get my life in order. Yada, 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 yada. Um, if you do want to help me, I don't, I'm not asking for it, but if you do want to help, I will give you my thankfulness, my gratitude, and my end, undying loyalty. Um, if you want to be immortalized in a book, please give me a name, a description of what you, a quick description of what you look like and the quirk you want to be. And if you want to be a good guy or a bad guy or put a question mark beside you, if you don't want to be whatever and you just want to be, you just want to be fucking, you want to be played as you want to be played, whether it's just a character that's always around or whether you, whether you trust me to make you a good guy or a bad guy, but I'll always make you memorable. Remember that. Sorry, my hair is going through a stupid stage. So it's not, um, it's not to the length I like. So yeah, most of the times I've been wearing my hood so people don't see my hair because that's how embarrassed of what I am. Um, I don't know. Um, I'm trying, like I said, I do need help. Yes, I do. I don't want it to be look like that. I'm just doing and saying this shit for handouts or whatnot. I am not that type of person. But I do realize now that with Leia eating the cat food that I'm kind of screwed and I need cat litter, cat food. Because pun, my only bud is still alive and kicking and 
he eats for some reason. He's been eating a lot. And I'm just using dirt right now as cat litter. So, I'm an asshole, but I will do what I need to do. And I will ask for help for my pets and my animals. And I, because I need help, because I screwed up, because I dealt with three weeks of fucking no heat and I got lazy. And instead of cooking meals like I usually do and eating off the fucking eating the, the leftovers, I was eating canned soup and whatnot. And um, yeah. So in the long run, I fucked up. If you help me out of this situation, I am thankful. And um, remember, you like these videos, which I highly doubt. But if you like, please go and donate to a pet food bank, to a pet, your local pet food bank, a local, um, local pet rescue or the local SPCA. I will see you Thursday. Um, yeah, later.